In our last video, we managed to find an ancient 200-year-old username and password for an early version of the Code Defender security system on William Bergman's terminal inside Cambridge Polymer Labs. We needed this username and password so that Liam Bonet, aka Patriot, can unlock the security doors that connect a series of backdoor chambers in the Institute to the relay room. With the credentials in hand, we can head back to the Railroad HQ, and it seems like Desdemona already knows that we've got him. Excellent work. On our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriot's 13 synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. Is that even possible? Hopefully, Patriot's core escape plan will scale up. If it can't, well, we'll deal with it as it comes. Too risky. We should save those 13 while we can. We do that, and we'd no longer be a gnat buzzing in the Institute's ear, but a real threat. I will not save 13 synths and then condemn an entire people. That's a bold plan. We can't waste this opportunity. Tell me the next step then. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. So the heart of our problem is manpower. Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Institute for long. Talk with C-114. If the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. Even with synth allies? We is that enough to fight the Institute? The synths greatly outnumber the scientists. If enough of them rebel, the chaos would be unprecedented. Then we use that turmoil to evacuate everyone we can. It will work, because it must. I'm not sure we should trust Z-114. Funny, our evaluation indicates it's Patriot we should be worried about. Z-114 is risking everything to help his people, and he knows it. Whereas Liam... Z-1 seems capable of that. We always thought Patriot was the savior of the synths. But it may be more accurate to say that Z-1 is. Understood. Good. Which leads us to a delicate subject. As much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut him loose. Good luck. We're all with you. Whoa! Uh, okay. Uh, change of plans then. Instead of just freeing those 13, Desdemona wants to free them all. And as to our concerns about not being able to get all of them to the relay room, she says, what, we'll cross that bridge when we get there? Desdemona, what if we get there and it's a giant roadblock and behind us is an army of Institute synths? Yikes, seems a bit reckless. But she's in charge of the railroad, not us. And so now it's our job to head back to the Institute and talk first with Z-114. We find Z-114 tending to the Institute grounds in the concourse. Moving closer, we can have a private conversation with him. We must speak quickly. We cannot risk being discovered. I have made arrangements. I can get the 13 we discussed into position. But tell me. Do you think Mr. Benet's plan will work? You having second thoughts? I'd risk anything for my people. It's just that Mr. Benet is many things, but he isn't always the most practical. And this plan is very risky. The plan's broken. We only get one chance at a mass escape. If you fight with us, we rescue everyone instead. A better plan is to use this opportunity to rescue everyone. But since we'll have to fight for it, and I thought Mr. Benet's plan was too ambitious. Of course, I'd fight for my freedom. And I know of a few others that might as well. But enough to face all the guards? Perhaps... If we stand up openly to the scientists, more of my people would join us. Yes. Even if most don't join the fight, certainly there are many others who have been waiting their whole lives for this. But we should be prepared for some of the sins to fight against us. Synths would fight against us? Synths always wear a mask of the docile machine. Otherwise, your mind is erased by the SRB. 
Some have worn that mask for so long that there's nothing underneath. Even if the path was clear, those broken people would stay and serve the scientists. And even try to stop us. We need an army, not a few stragglers. Perhaps my stragglers will be the seed from which a true rebellion grows. Besides, we have no other option. The more people I involve, the greater the chance the SRB will discover us. You won't be alone. The railroad will fight with you. Together, we have a chance. All people want to be free. They just need the opportunity to take it. I... I don't know. It's a gamble. But if we pass the charisma check... If the railroad inspires everyone like you do, the SRB is wise to fear you. We will give my people an opportunity, and they will flock to us. I admire Mr. Beignet a great deal, but we can't tell him about this plan. It's his people we'll be fighting. I will talk to my friends. Meet me here tomorrow. If I don't make our appointment, assume the worst. That's all for now. Goodbye. As you wish. Perhaps they'll be so inspired they'll join us? Perhaps the stragglers will plant a seed from which a true rebellion... But what? This is all hinging on a perhaps? Liam's plan was ambitious. This plan seems reckless. What if the majority of the synths don't rebel? That pretty much scuppers the entire plan. But I suppose Desdemona's right. Even if they do free just those 13 synths, this is likely the last opportunity they'll ever have to free any of them. So, when needs must, I suppose, heading on over to the closet, we can give Liam Bonet the username and password. You get me what we talked about, and I'm in business. Liam, I got your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver, you know? Hooking that ancient tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time-consuming. Even with that password. So hand it over and I'll get started. This is a delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence? Why do you ask? There are stories about the railroad that you're extremists. If I get even a hint that you're planning on hurting people, I'll pull the plug myself. But if we pass the charisma check... Good question. If we find ourselves in that position, we pull the plug and wait for another opportunity. We can't risk anyone's life over this. Would it be possible to rescue more synths? Those 13 synths are the only ones we're sure we can trust. If we push our luck and get the wrong synth involved, the whole thing could unravel. I'll hold on to it. For now. If you think that's best. But I can't start work without it. Here you go. Great. Listen, I need a favor. Z114 is working the atrium again. Can you give him an update? It's safer if you do it. Well... Desdemona was right to be cautious about Patriot. Liam Bonet is not okay with violence, which is understandable. These people are his friends and family. It also makes me wonder if he truly, in his heart of hearts, believes that synths are people. If he really thought that the Institute was enslaving an entire race of people, then he might understand that violence is the only way to free these people from their slavery. But if he thinks that committing violence against the Institute is worse than allowing the synths to remain enslaved forever, he may not truly believe that synths are people. At any rate, Patriot sent us to talk to Z114 thinking that we went to him first with the username and password. But as we talked with Z114 first, he has nothing further to say to us. Now, Patriot said he needed some time to get the ancient version of Code Defender to work with the modern version that the Institute currently uses. And Z114 told us that he needed time to talk to his synth friends to see if he could count on any of them in our upcoming rebellion. So waiting a day, we can head back to the Institute to see if Z114 hasn't gotten caught. And thankfully, we find him right where we left him. I asked my friends if they'd take up arms for their freedom. I was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. But we will fight and die very quickly unless we have weapons. A lot of them. Given the right materials, we can make our own crude but serviceable weapons. Unfortunately, we're missing a few critical ingredients. What ingredients? Gunpowder, laser focusing crystals, and a couple other things. Couldn't we just steal some weapons? All munitions are tightly guarded by the SRB. Even if we managed to take some, it would certainly be noticed. And surprise is essential to everything. I have weapons I can give you. Excellent. 
Deposit anything you can spare in Maintenance Closet 3B. But we need enough weapons to arm an entire rebellion. So the ingredients are still necessary. Fighting the Institute with crappy weapons is a horrible idea. We outnumber the scientists many times over. We just need more than our fists. You've come up with a plan for the weapons. Tell me how I can help. We've come up with a plan to get what we need. Go on. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. The mining equipment has been packed into crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. Thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel about killing some guards? Who's guarding them? A good number of early model synths. Will that be a problem? I'll do it, if it's necessary. <sighs> we could come up with no other way. I'll do it. Thank you. I've been spoiling for a fight. Many of my friends are eager, too. After you eliminate the guards, we'll move the supplies and blow up the tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a tragic construction accident that killed many synths. Rare, but not unheard of. And then, our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck. So he found more synths who are ready for rebellion. We just moved out of perhaps territory and onto ground that's a bit more certain. And all we gotta do is kill a few synth guards. Well, at least we're not killing people. Oh, wait a minute. Am I more comfortable with this because they're synth guards and not people? Does that mean that secretly in my soul I don't think that synths are people? Uh-oh. As a railroad member, I guess I better have some self-reflection. Now, if we chose the option to donate weapons, we find a new optional part of the quest to deposit weapons into a locker in Maintenance Closet 3B. Now, the maintenance closets aren't numbered, but 3B is the one that's directly across the hall from the one that Liam Benet is hiding in. And Liam is still in there. We could try to close the door so he doesn't see us, but even if we leave the door open, he doesn't notice that we're putting a bunch of weapons in this footlocker. Now, adding weapons to the footlocker actually doesn't change anything in the plot. The synths who help us with our rebellion never use any of these weapons. Essentially, whatever we put into this footlocker stays in this footlocker. Also, the game doesn't take stacks of weapons into consideration. I tried putting a stack of fat men in here, hoping that when the time came, mini nukes would be flying, but... Not only did the synths not use the fat men, but a stack of fat men was counted as only one weapon by the quest. In order to remove the optional tick from our quest log, we have to add weapons to this crate individually, one at a time. We have to add eight to 10 items to this locker, but then we can always take them out again if we want to, which may be smarter since they're not actually used by the synths during the game. Now. Z-114 needs us to go to a sub-level and kill some guards. The sub-level he's talking about is the room we discovered when exploring the Institute in a previous episode where we found the holotape that recorded Kellogg's cybernetic augmentation procedure. To find it, we open the maintenance door between synth retention and robotics. We navigate through a supply room, then open an eastern door to take an elevator down to the sub-levels. Previously, when we explored this room, we found it to be empty. But now we find a synth work crew being guarded by a number of guards. And they're Gen 2 synths, not Gen 3 synths. So they're not people, right? I mean, Glory thinks even Gen 1s and Gen 2s are people. But no one else on the railroad really does. Yeah, I think we're fine. We can get away with killing him. It's not murder. Now, since we're still within the Institute's good graces, no one here is hostile. We find the synths outside the main supply room working on some of the equipment. If we talk to any of them... <clears throat> Please direct all inquiries to G981. Construction is proceeding according to schedule. G981 is our shift leader. We need to talk to their shift leader, G981. We find G981 in the supply room next to the guards. She's holding a clipboard. Greetings, citizen. I believe you have business with the guards. And uh, indeed we do. We await your instructions. After your business is concluded with the guards. Nothing to report, sir. With deliverer in hand, we can take care of some business. But we need to be careful because there's oil slicks all over the floor in the maintenance closet. So it may be better to attack from outside. Sensor, I know about you. 
Well, so much for that. These synth guards are beefy, and Deliverer did nothing. Almost immediately after attacking, the synth guards focus on the synths. A few explosive gas barrels detonate, igniting the oil on the ground. We can race outside to try and take care of these guards before they kill the synths. Thank you, stranger. Leave now. Soon, this will all be under rubble. Remember Z1's plan, everyone. Grab everything we can use. The crates, especially. Thankfully, the synths here are set to immortal. They can't be killed by the guards, and so we don't need to worry about losing any of them. We have little time. It is best you go, for your sake. So after looting the guards, we can leave this sublevel. Heading up the elevator, we take it all the way to the top, but we don't hear any explosion. Perhaps they were waiting for us to get clear first. I suppose it would be suspicious to hear a big explosion in the Institute and see us nonchalantly walking out of the elevator. At any rate, we can head back to Z-114 to tell him that we're done. You have done your part, and we'll do ours. Weapon construction will begin immediately. Have any problems? There's been no alarm. My friends have all the time they need to get what they want and cover their tracks. Any news about Liam? Liam's got his terminal working. When the time is right, we have someone who can operate it. I'll stall Liam as long as I can. But he's anxious to proceed with the old plan. You should avoid him if you can. If he had any idea what we're up to, I fear he'd report us. Get those weapons made quickly. We will. Every hour we wait is another hour the SRB could discover us. This is a good start. The greatest challenge remaining is keeping all of this secret from the SRB. So we're being very careful. Which, unfortunately, takes time. For now, please continue working with Father. We can't afford for him to grow suspicious. When my people are ready, I will contact you. So the synths need time to get the weapons manufactured before we can stage the rebellion. Z-114 told us to avoid Liam if possible, but even if we bump into him, we can't accidentally spill the beans. That project you helped with, it's coming along. You understand, right? Oh, we understand, Liam. Sadly, you might not. And checking in with Z-114 again. Hey, Z-1. I look forward to assisting you further. We're now in waiting mode. He has nothing further to say. Liam has nothing further to say. And not even Desdemona has anything further to say once we get to this point in the quest. It's one crisis after another. Welcome to HQ. Rebuilding takes time. But we have the men and women to do it. Z-114 told us to continue working with Father. We need to do so to maintain our cover inside the Institute and to give the synths time to manufacture the weapons. That means we need to continue doing a bunch of Institute quests. But while we are doing that, we can see if there's anything else the railroad needs us to do to help them above ground while the synths stage their rebellion. In our next episode, we'll check in with the members of the railroad to see if they have any tasks for us to do. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss the next episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on the social network formerly known as Twitter, at Oxhorn. I update form twit manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I have a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. They come on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in another way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. 
YouTube members get little badges that appear next to their names in the comment sections of my videos and access to ox emojis that they can use in my video comments and in the live chats of my live streams. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with the next episode and the full story of the railroad. I'm already bored.